everybody, welcome back to my channel. I got another Bible review for you to show you today. This is Moy Moy Garcia from Moy Garcia Leather and Binding. And uh, I'm gonna show you what we have here today for you. This is a very, very nice edition put out by Crossway, you can see here. It's uh, a single column journal in Bible uh, that uh, they sent to me for, for review for an honest review and that's what you're gonna get and uh, I think it's a very very nice edition that I'm putting out and it comes with uh, one two three and four raised hubs on the spine as you can see there very nice and it comes with the stamping gold holy bible ESV logo English standard version and crossway so let's get to it shall we but before we do that, I need a zip of my coffee this morning. Mmm. Ah, oh, that's so good. Now we're ready to go. So, this is the box that it comes uh, in. This is a clamshell box, very nice and sturdy. So you can see here. And, uh, and it's very nice. It's a buffalo leather dip brown. Now, I have to say, very hard for me to tell this is a dark brown now in my eye my naked eye this looks black but depending on the lighting you you will find that this is yes indeed uh, a very dark uh, brown color which i like but um, that's what it is and i'm going to show you also that this is indeed the esv single column journal in bible in, bible in large print format uh, 9.5 point type right even though it reads a bit larger than that to my eye I think it's about 10 but it is 9.5 two inches ruled margins uh, is a single column format it's a smite zone which is excellent for this type of big chunky Bibles to hold it together cream color paper lifetime guarantee and uh, some some of the leaders in Christianity that are actually endorsing the, the ESV okay so let's get into it shall we you can see this leather is very nice I like the grain it's smooth but it feels also tough against uh, uh, scratches I don't think this is gonna scratch easily so it's good it's perimeter stitched all around and as I showed you before, it comes with one, two, three, and four race hops on the spine. Very well, and very well defined too. Now, the gold stamping is unreal, very nice. I really like it. You can see that there. With one single ribbon. It's very fine. Red, uh, dark brown as well I say and um, why not put in two or three in such a big Bible but it's just now we have a synthetic liner it's uh, kind of vinyl uh, I like it it doesn't feel cheap it comes with a reinforcement right here on the spine uh, which will help this Bible to uh, to hold together after long periods of use as we read this paper is creamish kind of color and it's very simple we just have one this Bible belongs to with four lines page which I like simplicity we have sorry here's the holy Bible page introduction page And we're gonna find that this is the ESV text edition 2016, which is my favorite ESV edition. I really like it. Printed in China. Table of contents. Books in alphabetical order. And right here we got a preface. Now, the preface is very nice to read if you have a uh, 
I'm just gonna go through this. If you want to pause the video to read this, I think it's very interesting. Now we get into the Old Testament. And here you have it. Simple and plain. A lovely single column, paragraph format, 9.5. Excellent and crisp, sharp text. Uh, I love this font with a two inches wide margin next to it to write your notes, prayers, thoughts, uh, study notes. You could even use this for teaching and preaching if you wanted to. How readable that is, it's line matched, which means each line on one side of the Bible matches the lines on the back of it, so that helps for readability. As you can see here, these lines would match exactly the lines on the other side, that's brilliant. That should be the standard for all Bibles nowadays. And uh, the paper is thick i like it it has a little of yellowish kind of hue in the in the gutter but that's okay i don't mind on the rest of the page you can feel the cream color there not distracting i would rather have this in white paper don't know why they keep doing this in this kind of cream yellowish colors uh i prefer white uh, first thing you will avoid this kind of hues of yellowish color that looks like it's old and stuff but at the same time when you're writing you're coloring white paper is always going to give you better contrast that than the the yellow paper or cream paper in this case it's a black letter edition so we go to the New Testament let's go for example to the book of uh, Matthew and uh, let's say chapter 25 24 it's black letter which is again the way it should be I believe when you are writing notes you probably you're probably gonna be using color coding you're gonna highlight when it's black you're gonna see exactly what you're doing if you have a red color in the text that could be confusing for, for some and even uh, some color codes could be a bit of a, a annoying so I'm happy that this Bible is in black font now in the back we're gonna find just a few things weight and measures and I threw the Bible in a year reading plan which again is very good if you're gonna use this Bible for that purpose to write your own thoughts and devotionals and so on I think to have that here is an excellent idea no concordance no references you don't need that for this type of edition. I think that's a good call. And that's it. That's the end of this uh, edition. In very dark, very dark. Uh, buffalo hide. I like it. You can see a bit of the wrinkling there. Feel smooth, but tough. I don't think this is going to scratch easily. So... I really like it there's no gilding anywhere it's just plain text sorry it's the plain it's just plain pages some people may like to do some uh, dye on that you can add some red or or even uh, gray or brown if you wanted to uh, just to enhance a little bit the readability of it I'm gonna show you something that I did 
with the SV that I purchased, it came like this with white or in this cream and or in this case cream pages, and I added this red color. So I think it does help for to frame the page. To fo I mean, I, in my eye, that helps a lot to to focus on the text. See kind of frames the page doesn't it this is something you can do easily done in this in this type of Bibles because there's no gilding so you are not gonna ruin anything my very good friend David Lee Brown he has a, a video on how to do this I would put a, a link to that video in the description box as well to help you out in case you want to do this and uh, when you close it you're gonna see that red page rather than plain bare cream or white in this case it's cream so that's just an idea something that you can do with it so I am very very uh, pleased with this edition I like the paper a lot this paper is excellent you can use your your pants normal pens I say but I recommend to use pens like this micron pens archival ink I don't know if you can see it here I recommend pens like this micron pens by Pigma uh, use something like this 005 is a very fine nib as you can see The, the nib of this pen is very fine so it will not put too much pressure on the page and not a lot of ink but enough to write your notes and not bleed through this is archival ink acid free and uh, I think these are excellent for uh, note taking there's plenty of colors you can use all kinds just here a few of them different colors you can use now there's some of them that you can use for this type of Bible you also have an option I really like these ones these are uh, pilot G tech C4s now also we have this in different colors but the nib in this case is metallic and uh, that helps some people not to break the actual nib of the pen when you are writing some people are having troubles with these ones because they are very good but if you put too much pressure on the on the pen when you're writing you can actually break the, 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 the nib of the the end of the of the pen these ones are a bit stronger uh, also acid free uh, but you have to be careful with them because if you put too much pressure you can actually mark or or indent into the page so there's a there's that there and there is one that I just found out that is unbelievable very fine nib excellent now these are quite expensive but worth the price this is the Pantel Arts Hybrid Tech. Uh, let me see. Technica, sorry. And uh, this pen, see if I can see the barcode for this. There you go, there you have it. 0 0.3 millimeter. And uh, this one also has a very fine point and nib metallic as you can see there and uh, I've been using this one for uh, some uh, Bible studies in one of my Bibles I'm gonna show you what it looks like so in this Bible which is put out by by uh, Sondervan similar paper okay but in this case this one is white instead of uh, cream and it's just gonna show you let's say here we go 
in Ezekiel, I've been using this pen right here, the, the Pentel Arts Hybrid Technica. And uh, how, f look at how fine that writes, how crisp. And if you turn the page, yeah, it marks a little bit the page because of the, the, the nib is metallic, right? But you don't have to put too much pressure on it, so, but it doesn't bleed through. See? Yeah, you can feel, you can see a little, a bit of uh, ghosting, but it, the, the, the ink itself doesn't go through the paper, which is what you want. Here's another example with the same pen. Okay. So, now my camera is picking up more than you can see with your naked eye, but it doesn't bleed through, you see? I really like it. Um, let's see if I have. I only started using this recently, so here in Matthew, same thing again. No bleed through. But what I like about these pens is the, the way they write. So consistent and you know it's not gonna there you go it's not gonna bleed through the page so that's that I recommend this Bible I really do uh, just get yourself a nice set of pens that you may be able to use alongside to write your notes thoughts prayers Bible studies uh, I really like the composition the overall product that Crossway have put together. I really like this spine. Look at that. Gorgeous. It's a bit heavy, but not too heavy. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed and liked this video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Give us a thumbs up. And I'll see you in another Bible review or rebind. Until then, Shalom.